Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a GM sequence. Open Logic Pro, go to File, New, choose an empty project, select external MIDI, you can select the number of tracks you want, for now I'm just going to leave it as one, click Create. Now go to Window, Environment, choose the sub menu over here and switch that to MIDI instrument click on new scroll down to internal and select Apple QuickTime now connect the GM device to the QuickTime synth choose remove get out of this environment window in the library, select GM device channel number one. Use a MIDI controller, or if you don't have one, hit the caps lock button. And you should be hearing a piano sound. Now let's create a program change message. Hit the escape key, choose the pencil tool. Click to create a blank region, hit escape and choose the pointer tool again. While the, the new region has been selected, go to lists, click on create, click on program change. And under length info, you can choose the particular patch you want to select. For example, harpsichord. Try that out with the MIDI controller or your caps lock keyboard. Let's add another instrument. Choose external MIDI again. This time I want to use drums. For drums we have to select channel number 10. Addition the sound. Let's create a program change message for this track as well. Hit escape, choose pencil to create a blank region. Select that region, go back to the lists view. Make sure that the drums region has been selected. Choose program change and select the drum sound. Audition the sound. Now let's add reverb to one of the tracks in our GM sequence. Select a region, double click it, the piano roll window opens. You may drag over here to increase the height of the window. If you don't see the hyperdraw area, you can click over here where it says hyperdraw and open that window. You may resize this window by clicking and dragging over here. Now currently we are looking at program change messages, but if I click over here in this drop down menu and click on other, I can go and find reverb. Reverb is CC number 91. Select reverb, close this window. And now we're looking at CC number 91. To enter reverb information, click, click again, and you will now have reverb information entered in. You may click again to create multiple points. You may click on the point again to remove that specific node. Audition the reverb. 